Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Joshua chapter 3 today. We were in Joshua 4 for a couple days as we talked about the memorial stones that came out of the Jordan River after they crossed. But uh, we want to jump back to chapter 3 because it really prepares us for the chapters ahead when we are talking about living by faith. Living by faith because that's what the book of Joshua is about. If we are to live in victory, pleasing the Lord, loving the Lord, seeing God do great wonders among us, we must learn to live by faith. And we have the source of faith, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and His wonderful Word. Through faith and by faith, we look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, I'll never forget when I went to uh, Lynchburg Baptist College, 1971, Thomas Road Baptist Church, Dr. Falwell was doing a program called the Old Time Gospel Hour. And every day that program began with Doug Odom's singing the old song, We've Come This Far By Faith, Trusting in the Lord. And I'll never forget that over and again we heard that song, We've Come This Far By Faith. And my friend, if we are to be what God wants us to be, accomplish what God wants us to accomplish, we must go forward by faith faith and continue to have our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as I was thinking of our thoughts this morning in Joshua chapter 3, I couldn't help but think if you really want to know what faith is and understand faith, you must study the book of Hebrews. It's the book of faith. It has the hall of fame of faith of those heroes in Hebrews chapter 11. Matter of fact, one of the first chapters as a young pastor that I memorized was Hebrews chapter 11. And so we must have faith. Matter of fact, in Hebrews chapter 3, they it tells us back 40 years earlier when Joshua and Caleb as two spies and along with the other 10 spies went into the promised land for Moses and came back 40 years before what happens in chapter 3 here. They came back and they gave a report by faith. By faith, the elders received a good report. Who from? Joshua and Caleb. But we find though in Hebrews chapter 3 that into whom did he swear that they would not enter his rest, but to those who did not obey? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Because of unbelief. Unbelief says, let's go back where we think it's safe. But faith says, let's go forward to where God is working. And Joshua and Caleb said, that's what we need to do. But the people said no, and they didn't go in. And for 40 years, because of their unbelief, they wandered in the wilderness. And everyone 20 years of age and older died off. It's a place of death. My friend, we don't want to live there. We want to live in the place of life and victory and exciting things. Look what great things God's going to do amongst us. And we read that here in chapter ver- chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. He said in 5, And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do great and do wonders among you. That's faith. Over the years I've studied the biographies of great men and women. They all had one thing in common. It was their faith faith. Why? Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. And my friend, God hasn't changed and the principles of faith hasn't changed. And I'm telling you, the one thing that has changed, it appears, is the faith of God's people. And if we do not continue to learn how to have a faith, and matter of fact, it's called the word of faith in Romans chapter 10, verse 8. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. We have that word. That is the word of God. That's what Joshua depended on. His, His commands, his directions came from God's word. And that's what he gave to the people. And the people obeyed by faith. And they went in and conquered the land. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Today, let's learn to go forward by faith. God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.